I'm going to try something a little bit different for me today. Instead of a uh, spindle from a, a tree, I'm going to try a weed. This is a goldenrod stem that I harvested in my yard uh, sometimes last year. It's been drying in the house, so it's not like anything I'm going to find in nature. Um, this is a hearthboard that uh, I was once successful in getting an ember from a hand drill, which of course is this technique. And I'm gonna see if I could get an ember uh, using the bow drill. It's nothing new. There's probably a thousand people that have done it, but it's new to me. And uh, I'd like to say uh, fire making is a hobby. It's something that I do as part of being an enthusiast uh, in camping, survival, hiking. Uh, I don't call myself an expert. I'm not an expert at any of those things. Today, to be an expert, you need a degree and years of experience, basically. Uh, what I am is just, just a hobbyist, just an enthusiast, and I'm sharing with y'all things that I learn, and maybe, uh, if I'm teaching anything, I'm teaching y'all, if I could do it, anybody can do it. So anyway, without further ado, uh, let's see if I could get this done uh, straight away. With bow drill, it's just practice and form and muscle memory. You've got to practice enough to where it becomes second nature to you because there's so many things you've got to concentrate on uh, spindle position your, your wrist being anchored against your shin uh, the angle of the bow the, the length of the bow you're using just so many things and then pressure and there's sounds you hear and things you see um, that you just gather uh, with experience. The spindle may be too long, I don't know, we'll see. It may break. This may be an utter failure. Okay, that was just the burn-in process uh, to form a better divot. I see now that my string is a little, a little loose. I don't want it too tight because then I'd have to put too much pressure on the, that spindle. And it's not strong. It can't carry a whole lot of... Uh, pressure so I've tightened up my string a little bit more not much more okay and I also need to cut a notch I'm gonna do that here go too deep into the divot because I imagine I'm going to be drilling kind of deep into the hot bore carve a little bit more out with my knife finesse it a little bit Okay, so there you see the, hope it's in focus. The 
caulk board and the, the spindle. And we're gonna go for it. This dust, don't want that. You're actually charring this material as you're drilling. And it needs to be charred to ignite. I think it's about 800 degrees it will ignite. Everything out of the way. We'd like this to be a success. It's the first time doing it. So let's see. Oops. Hope I'm not too tight. No. Still wants to slip. I'll tighten it with my thumb. Okay, I'm not going to go with a lot of pressure. I want heat. And I want dust to form in the in the notch. And that is happening. And I want a good bit of dust. I want as large an ember as possible. Building up some nice dust. Okay. Don't need a whole lot of pressure. I see some dust, some smoke coming from the dust. That's a good sign. Okay. Oh, yeah. I think I got it. And this should be dry enough not to go out. Excuse the heavy breathing. This isn't a, an easy thing to do. At 68 years old. All right. This is only half of it, y'all. The other half is getting it to ignite a tender bundle. Now, in anticipation of this being a weak ember, which it may not be, I process up the the uh, pine straw pretty good, pretty well. But what I'm going to also do is put some, some pretty ground up punky wood, mashed up, mashed up with my fingers, put that down in the bottom of the, the tender bundle. I'm going to give that ember something to feed on, something to eat, so to speak. It actually looks like a strong ember. I'm gonna scoot. Oh yeah. It looks like it's come together nicely. Work it toward the edge. Drop it down onto that that punky wood. Just let it build. Not gonna get in a hurry. wood on top of it as you can see being careful not to take away its oxygen give it some oxygen this way looks like it wants to do well Okay, I'm going to kind of reposition the camera. <clears throat> I'm not going to cut. 
cut away. I want y'all to, to see this. Well, it did cut away, but cut away from the ember. All right. Feel good about this, y'all. First time for me using a weed for a spindle. Golden rod. My tender's been out in all this humidity for weeks now. You can see it. It wants to catch, but it don't want to catch. There we go. success kind of happy with that anyway thank you all for watching if you haven't subscribed please do I'll talk to you later I'm going to set this down before it burns my hand See some dust, some smoke coming from the dust. That's a good sign. Okay. Oh yeah. I think I got it. And this should be dry enough not to go out. Excuse the heavy breathing. This isn't a, an easy thing to do. At 68 years old. All right. This is only half of it, y'all. The other half is getting it to ignite a tender bundle. 